Hi everyone, Fiona here and Joni the dog. Well, today we are all about surrendering. Now, what does this mean? To surrender actually is not about giving up on something. Surrendering is not a resignation that something is over or that you can't have what you want. Surrendering is simply a term that I'm using to help you to trust the process. Trust the process of life. Trust the process of the tricky thing that you're going through right now. You see, in life, some stuff is already destined for us and some stuff is like a free will choice. At the end of the day, the only things that we really have control over are how we react emotionally and what we think about this particular moment that we're in right now. That's all we really have control of in this second. Of course, we can then choose to shift our frequency, shift our energy, shift our attitude, our vibration, our emotions and our thoughts so that we then radiate a different manifestation process. We radiate different energy and therefore our future has different things ahead of us. But at the end of the day, we're not necessarily going to be able to control things as much as we would like to do. And as soon as we can surrender to what is, as soon as we can to surrender and accept a situation rather than fighting it, we immediately lose stress and get a little bit more clarity on what is happening. Now at that point, it, we can think, okay, I'm done, I've done it, I've surrendered. And then of course, if we're concerned about will we get that job or will I get that guy or girl back or will they like me or will I overcome this health issue? When we start thinking like that, we then need to remind ourselves to come back to the present moment, to come back to the now. That's the first thing to remember. So whenever we're thinking about these other things, we're either in the past or the future, which can then create anxiety, so fear, and also depression if we're stuck. So therefore, the ideal for us is to be as mindful about what we're doing in this very present moment for the benefit of our sanity, to say the least. Because the more that we create these illusions and these ideas and these made up stories about what could happen or what should happen, the more unhappy and stressed we become. So to, to give you a little bit of a, an action plan, the first thing I suggest is number one, just decide to let go, decide you want to surrender. And then number two is to take time to be still, to get out of your head and focus on nothing. Now, obviously that's easier said than done. Various ways you can do that are meditation and other forms of, you know, creative visualization, things that you help you to focus on, achieving what you want, getting what you want, even though that might not come to fruition, the idea of having what you desire will immediately fill you with energy and feelings of the, the greatness that that could bring to you. And therefore you lift and raise your vibration in doing so. What I don't suggest is distracting yourself. Of course, now and then we need to do that just to give ourselves a break. So maybe go to the movies, try not to drink too much alcohol. You know, occasionally it's okay to blow out on something, but how often do we distract ourselves from these things that are not going our way, things that are bothering us, things that are stressing us out? So that's number two, to try and still the mind. And in doing so, you'll be in the now and give yourself a rest on a real soulful level. And then the third thing that you can do is to be aware of how much energy you're giving to one thing and how much you're not giving to other areas of life. And now start to find a balance, meet halfway, add in new things really just get the actual logical concept of finding balance. Have a think about it. Sounds like not rocket science, right? But who's doing it? Are you doing it? So there you go. Three ways to just let go and accept the situation 
while you trust the process that everything is unfolding as it should and there is a divine plan at play by the universe. Little do you know, and the more you fight it, the more resistance you create, the longer you drag out your desire and the more pain and unhappiness you experience in the meantime. Accept, surrender, and be in the now. See you next time, guys. Ciao for now.